today with a black lip tutorial. I know it's very different, but I wanted to do something that was autumn inspired, quite dark, a bit gothic, but still wearable for dark skin tones at the same time. But yes, I hope that you enjoy the video and thumbs up if you do. Okay, so I've already added um, some concealer to the eyelid. So right now I'm just gonna add um, NYX um, eyeshadow base. Now as a, well I'm using quite a few transition colours, but as um, the first transition colour I'm just going to be using um, Max uh, Mineralized Skin Finish in Deep Dark. And I'm just going to... Then I'm going to be using, um, this is the Blush Professional 78 colour makeup palette and I'm going to be using the colour in like this reddish, reddish colour. <sighs> Max Swiss chocolate with the same um, elf blending brush. I'm just going to put that slightly above the crease. Just want to like a gradual fade into the dark. That's kind of what it should look like when you've got the Swiss chocolate on top. Then um, just to just to darken it up, I'm gonna go in with a e.l.f. Um, I think it's a precision precision brush with um, embark just on the crease. Then I'm going to be taking this heavy metal, well, Urban Decay Glitter Eye Gel in heavy metal and I'm just going to squirt way too much on my hand. <laughs> I'm just going to take this and this is going to kind of act as a glitter glue, kind of, um, no, glitter adhesive for the gold glitter that comes on next. <laughs> this with a um i actually got this brush off ebay i can't even remember what it's called but it came in like a 24 pack i just typed in 24 pack um makeup brushes and it came up so yeah and then i'm just gonna add the gold glitter on top now i've just sprayed this brush with fix plus so because i don't want the glitter to be like um glum, glue, glum clumpy basically on my eye but yeah just putting that on so now i'm just gonna apply a winged liner to my eyes <laughs> So now I've lined my, um, done my winged line up, I'm just going to add some black into the crease so it can really be a defined cut crease. So I just extended it right into the inner eye area and I'm just blending it out as I go along. And then I'm going to take the e.l.f. blending brush and just keep blending until there's a smooth transition of colour. So 
so that's what it should look like I'm just gonna add like um, a pearl color from this palette to under the eyebrow and then lashes Woo. so I've just added lashes to the look I'm just gonna do the rest of my face so that I can do my under eyes so as a highlight, I'm just going to be using the usual gold deposit on my cheekbones and a little bit on my forehead and my neck. And for blush, I'm just going to be taking this um, kind of peachy colour from this blush palette there. Now for the lips, I'm just going to make sure that like the natural colour of my lips are kind of matted out. And to do that, I'm just going to be using a Max Mineralized Skin Finish. Just to kind of press that. My lips are a tad bit dry, so I'm just going to add a bit of Carmex. <laughs> I'm not using a black lipstick is simply because I couldn't find one good enough in this country. I know Lime Crime do one but I knew that by the time I did the video it'll be too late for the order to come through from the US. So and I actually wanted to find a cheap budget way for everyone to be able to have a black lip and using a pencil is the, the best way I found. Now if you've got a, um, a concealer that's like one shade lighter than you, that will work perfect. If you don't, then just use your conceal um, just use your foundation and I'm just gonna kind of tidy up the corners of the mouth. Now just because I've noticed my face is a bit powdery from the um, Ben Nye powder, I'm just gonna spray my face with the um, NYX finish um, set and spray now that all of my make my under eye makeup's done I'm just gonna finish the under eye so I'm just gonna take that black from the precision brush <laughs> can't, I, can't say it precision brush that we used before I'm just gonna use that under the eye I'm not gonna go all the way in because I feel like there's already so much black going on on the face, I just want to leave it a bit subtly, just kind of like smudge that up, and then for the inner eye, I'm just gonna use like a pearl color, kind of similar to the color I use on the um, brow bone. I'm just gonna tear up the area. <laughs> all dark gothic inspired look if you've enjoyed the video i hope you thumbs up remember to subscribe favorite and share as well but yes hope you like the video there'll be a new video on this channel on thursday at 10 a.m hope you stay tuned and watch it bye guys